Hey guys, what's up? iPhone Rebel here with a very exciting video of iOS 9.3.2. So when you upload iOS 9.2, and it's, it's pretty big, 1.4 gigabytes. They say that it's performance under the hood enhancements. And I have the iPhone SE on the right and the iPhone 5S on the left. So there's not a lot of performance increases that I've noticed. More for the SE, and we'll see that in the Geekbench. So let's go ahead and run Geekbench. So when I ran Geekbench, this is 9.3, iOS 9.3. On the 5S, 9.3, you know, it's, it's not that much difference. It's a little bit faster in the single core, but slower in the multi-core. So 9.3, 9.3.2 is not as fast as we'll see in the iPhone SE. So in the iPhone SE, we have 9.3 right here. So as you can see, it actually slowed down a lot more from its base. I mean, this was, the iPhone SE started off with 9.3. It was, and it was optimized for 9.3, but once they got into 9.3.2, it actually slowed down just a little bit. Begin that and get this one ready. So these are this, this is the iPhone SE with 30 megabits a second to the router. And look over here, we have the 5S, which is really surprising how low it's actually getting right now for the speed test. It has a lower, a lower it has a worse ping and it's getting lower download, which is very surprising because they're not that much different in, the, in my test before of the Wi-Fi speed test. So this is kind of surprising that the that the SE was actually able to get a lot, like twice as fast to download for this new update. We'll have to do some more tests to see if that is true in every other area. So definitely, as you can see, this new iOS update is supposed to be a performance enhancement, but as we've seen in the Geekbench and the speed test, there's not really an, a, a much performance increase at all. This got about the same I, uh, Wi-Fi testing that I had before last week, well, this one's worse. So I think this uh, this under the hood performance enha enhancement that Apple is doing is not really helping the Apple community. Um, of course, this is just beta one, but this is a dot dot series, you know, 9.3.2. So usually we expect those things to be, uh, you know, imp improvements upon the overall structure of iOS. And public beta is not out yet. It will be coming out soon, so stay tuned for Apple's 9.3.2 public beta. So overall, there's not really much new things in iOS 9.3.2. You still have the night shift, and they have not changed it to maybe low power, what we're expecting, kind of something along the lines of an improvement. They call this a developer update, so we're gonna get to see what's happening up in the future with the later beta versions of 9.3. Make sure you guys check out my other videos about the iPhone SE. I have an unboxing, I have a comparison test between the 5S and the SE, and an ID touch sensor test. A full review is coming later on. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.